Today we're going to talk about the power of a test. So please turn in your study guide to the power of a test section. Now the power of a test against a specific alternative value is the probability that the test will reject the null hypothesis when the alternative is true. It is the probability that we correctly rejected H0. In practice, we carry the test out in hopes of showing that the null hypothesis is false. So high power is very important. So basically we've made a correct decision. Based on our sample data, we found that the test statistic value became fairly high and the probability that our test statistic could be that extreme or more was very, very low. The p-value led us to the decision to reject H0. Now typically we don't know if we made the right decision or not, but let's say that a census was conducted and we later on found out that we did do the right thing. The power of the test is the probability that we correctly rejected H0 in favor of the alternative. So having a probability of high power is something that we strive for in statistics. Now let's take a look at a table here. Suppose H0 is true. What if we decide to fail to reject it? Well, we made a correct decision. Now, suppose H0 is false. What if we decide to reject it? Once again, we made a correct decision. Now, suppose H0 is true. And now, what if we decide to reject it? Once again, we have a type 1 error. And the probability of the type 1 error, once again, is denoted by alpha our level of significance. Now suppose H0 is false. What if we decide to fail to reject it? Well, we have a type 2 error here. We basically failed to reject H0 and we really should have. And the probability of a type 2 error once again is denoted by beta. Now, the power of a test is when we correctly reject a false H0. In other words, we did the right thing. Now recall that alpha is the probability of a type 1 error. We reject H0, however, we later on find out it was true. Even though our uh, sample data turned out to be quite extreme and the p-value came out to be quite low, we find out that it was possible all along that the particular sample that we took was very extreme and belonged to the distribution of H0. And once again recall that the probability of a type 1 error is set by us by choosing the level of significance alpha. Beta recalls the probability of a type 2 error. Once again in a type 2 error we fail to reject H0, however we later on find out that it was false. So beta is the probability that when we fail to reject H0 because our data wasn't quite extreme enough and the p-value was a little bit higher than our level of significance, we didn't have enough evidence to be able to reject H0. However, later on we find out that we should have rejected H0 all along. The probability of this happening is represented by beta which is once again the probability of a type 2 error. And power is the probability of rejecting a false H0. We correctly rejected H0 when it was false. So based on our sample data, we had a very extreme value. That extreme value led to a very large test statistic value that ended up having a p-value that was quite small. Therefore, we had enough evidence to reject H0, and later on we found out it was a correct decision. The probability that we made this correct decision, rejecting a false H0, is the power of the test.